Hi everyone, welcome to Chess for Beginners. I'm Lauren Goodkind, your good and kind host. Check out the position below. It is right to move and before we make a move, what do we have to do? Examine the position. So let's do that. White's king is here. White also has three pawns here. White also has a rook, a bishop, and a knight, and they're on the same line. Black has a um black has a bishop, pawn, and rook. And if you notice, black's king is in danger. Um, look at this. Um, look at white's bishop. It's controlling two squares that are next to black's king. White's rook is controlling four squares that are next to black's king, and white's knight is controlling one square that is next to black's king. So black's king is in danger. What do you think? What do we think about white's king? Okay, so this bishop and this pawn, they're controlling this square and it's next to white's king. And this rook, it's not controlling any squares that are next to white's king. It is right to move and if you noticed, black is attacking white's rook. So we have to um, decide what is the best move f um, for white. Should we just move the rook all the way down here? Um, so. Um, so the rook would be safe? Or is there a better move? Think about it. The best move is to move the knight to c5. And this is a special move because it protects the castle and it also checks Black's king. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the knight to c5. But I'd like to know if you can see f um, um, further than this. If white's knight goes to c5, where can Black move? So remember, if knight is on c5, it cannot take the castle because the knight is protecting it. It can only go to one move. It can only go to c8. Now, if the king is on c8 and if this knight is on c5, notice that it's almost checkmate. So, can you see the checkmate after we move the knight to c5? So, if the king is on c8 and if we move the knight to c5, then the knight is controlling the b7 and d7 square and this bishop is controlling the c7 square. So do you see the checkmate? So to become a good chess player, you have to um, try to think a couple moves ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and just move the knight to c5. Okay, so it is that to move and again, the only move is to move the king to c8. Notice that this black king can't go to a8 a or a7 because of this rook. It cannot take the castle because of the knight. This king also can't go to the b6 and c6 squares because of this rook. And it can't go to um, the c7 square um, because of um, this bishop. So I'm going to go ahead and move the king to c8. Okay, so it is right to move and I'd like to know if you see the checkmate or not. 
So notice, Ornite is controlling the B7 and D7 squares, and Earth Bishop is controlling the D7 squares. That is so. Overall, this bishop is controlling. Um, this bishop is also controlling the B8 squares. Think about it. What's the best move? What's checkmate in one? The best move is to move the rook to a8 checkmate. And this is the checkmate. This rook is, con is attacking Zach's king and it can't go, and Zach's king can't go to d8 because Knight's rook is controlling that square and this is checkmate. If you have any questions about this video, please um, comment below. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.